Hi, this is Professor Dan Kernler with another video for Math 120 Online at Elgin Community College. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, my Stat Lab, which is our online homework system uh, by the uh, Pearson Publishing Company. I've got a couple of links to it. I'm actually in D2L right now. I've got a couple of links to it, my Stat Lab, or from the menu here, my Stat Lab. Brings you to the home page. Uh, if you haven't created an account or used this before, the first time you want to register is over here on the right. Um, once you, you need to set up an account, you'll need the course ID, uh, which I will have in D2L. Um, and then the, after that, once you're assigned, once you're signed up and you're connected to the course, my particular course, you sign in and I actually have. Um, oh, I already did it. Let me sign out here. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so we click on my stat lab. The sign in here, I actually have a couple of accounts. One is a student one, so I can show you how that view looks. And if you've used a Pearson product before, like my math lab or my foundations lab or other products, uh, you might have other courses here, but here we have our Math 120 statistics. So we'll click on this and open it up. So you can see the upcoming assignments here on the home page. If you click on the homework tab, you will see all of the assignments for the semester. I'm going to just give you a quick overview by going into one of them here, section 1-2, which is early on in the semester, and just kind of show you some of the features within this. You're going to learn kind of as you go, um, but I just wanted to give a quick overview. So there are some assistance uh, tools here over on the right and, and what's there really depends on the problem. If I click on a later one here, like number six, you can see there are some more. There's a help me solve this and a view an example. Help me solve this might give you a hint and if you if you take too many hints you don't get credit for that problem. Uh, view an example will be a similar problem. Uh, there are videos that the author has made. Um, I'm a little biased. I think mine are better, but of course, um, a lot of times it's nice to have a, a, another view. So there are videos related exactly to this content uh, that the author has created. Uh, there's pages from an electronic textbook. Uh, if you get totally stuck, there's this Ask My Instructor button, which is nice because um, a lot of these problems, everyone gets similar ones, but they're not identical. So you can't really ask me about question six because your question six is different from other people's question six. So if you click this Ask My Instructor button, um, what it does is you can send a, a little email here, I got stuck on blah, 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 blah. Um, then it sends an email to me with a link to your particular problem and I can respond uh, to that and answer your particular question. So that's really helpful. Uh, if you get these wrong, uh, final check, okay that's my final check, it should have been this. Uh, you can actually, it, there's no harm done there, you can click a similar exercise. Alright, here's a similar exercise and then now I can try again and if I get it right, I guess I should have been paying attention, uh, but if I get it right I still get credit um, and I won't lose the points for that particular problem. And you can do that an unlimited amount of times. So that can be a helpful tool. Homework here is really for practice. There's no time limit. You've got lots of assistance available. Um, and so that you're not graded on individual wrong answers. You can redo them until you get them correct. All right. um, go back to the course home. On the left, you'll see my online lessons. I've alluded to them in the D2L link. Um, in fact, I'll put a link up on the screen right now if you want to go preview them. But this is that web page, which you can view separately. Um, but it's also embedded within um, my stat lab here if you need an extra resource. If you want some extra practice on a particular type of problem, you can go to the study plan. It's ungraded. Um, it goes in order. Uh, so here it's starting with um, some preview stuff, but then also here's one one. Oh, I don't know why it's not in order. Um, but if I go to, where is it, view all chapters, I can go to a particular section, chapter 2, section 2-2, two, two, and a particular type of thing I wanted to practice with. Yep, I wanted to look at how to construct a histogram. And then I can just practice. These will look like homework questions. You'll see the same layout here. Looks like a homework question. It's got those help buttons over on the right. Um, so this is the study plan, and this is not 
I won't even see what you did here. It doesn't count for your grade, but if you need, if you need some extra practice, that study plan can be good. There's a lot of other content here. Um, I almost don't want to show, you can get a little overwhelmed, but within the chapter contents, again, say we're looking at those histograms, they were in chapter two. I think they were in two, two. Uh, there are videos, so you can watch some videos. There's a variety of examples. There's some author doing some of these in the classroom. This is the author of the textbook. Um, I don't have it set up here to record uh, the system sound, but um, you can see him doing a lecture. Um, there's this multimedia e-text, which I think takes another click. It's coming. Uh, so this is the full textbook that you would buy in paper, but it's just um, in electronic format. I'm not a huge fan of this browser here. I think it's a little bit difficult to navigate. Um, but this is another good resource available for you. So that's all under the chapter contents um, within my stat lab. There's some other stuff here too. Um, I would say dig around if you're really feeling frustrated with a particular um, chapter and you need some more um, some more assistance. There's a lot of stuff available, but we've hit on most of the highlights. Uh, this video is getting a little bit long, so we will cut it off here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out uh, the other videos that we have available, uh, the video syllabus, and also um, the some of the other course videos about uh, StatCrunch and D2L.